You know what sucks? Texting your girlfriend. I can't say that, because that's gonna be really, really mean. You know what sucks? Texting your girlfriend. Texting sucks. It can be so bad, and there's so many ways that it can go wrong, especially when you're texting your girlfriend. Here are five reasons why. Reason number one, autocorrect. Automatic correction. Make up your own word, phone, because that's not what I meant. You know, everybody's seen this, the autocorrect. Oh, I'm with my dad, and it's like, I'm making out with my dog. And you're just like, why? How did that even happen? This is one way that autocorrect can go so wrong with your girlfriend. Reason number two, not responding. For some reason, everybody thinks that when you text somebody, you're supposed to automatically get a text back. But sometimes, you're not right next to your phone. Me, personally, I do not spend my time looking at my phone, waiting for somebody to text me. So when you're texting your girlfriend sometimes, and you don't respond right away, things can go south really quick. So you know when you're like texting somebody and you mean it to come out some way But it's just text. It's not like a vocal thing and they read it a completely different way Like I could say hey, that's a cool dress and you're gonna say thank you But if I text you that's a cool dress you could read it like that's a cool dress. And then it's really offensive when it's with your girlfriend. It gets even worse How do I look? Good? Just good? Are you- are you good? Ah. Reason number four, red receipts. I don't understand why these exist. I personally don't have mine on. Not because I'm trying to tell somebody that I'm reading their message and I don't want them to know, just because people get so offended. Like this video right now if you get offended when you see somebody's read your message and hasn't responded. Especially when you're texting your girlfriend. Meg has her red receipts on and when she doesn't respond after, I get so pissed. I don't <sighs> have my reds on. Yeah, you do. Here we go. Yay, he read it, yay! But what? Respond? Why don't you respond? No. For real? For real? No. What? Alright. Bye. The fifth and final reason why texting sucks, especially in relationships, is word choice. Now sometimes when you're in a relationship, you get in a fight. It's totally normal. People get in fights. But then when you make up, you want to apologize to your girlfriend or boyfriend, and they respond with, It's okay. And you say, all right, cool, it's okay. But they don't really mean it's okay. They just don't want to send 12 paragraphs about how pissed they are at you and what you did wrong. In relationships, it is the worst thing ever. What? You don't like fighting with me? Are you serious? Okay. You're no. sorry? Sorry? Oh. <laughs> it's okay. So yeah, uh, don't text your girlfriend, or your boyfriend, or your significant other. Don't text anybody. Don't. If you don't want to get punched in the face, just live in a basement or something. Okay, so maybe it's not that serious, but sometimes in your relationship, texting can suck. Now three things I want to say about this video. One, Meg is not really that crazy. She is an awesome girlfriend and she's super cool. Number two, Nobody was harmed in this video. I did not have a real black eye, obviously. I had Meg painted on my face, or she made up, made up, makeup did, make up, make up did on my face. Hmm. And number three, just because I made this video about how texting sucks does not mean that texting actually sucks. I think texting is awesome, and it's really fun, and it's a great way to communicate with people, but I just wanted to point out in a funny way 
that sometimes when you're texting somebody, it is not as easy as just saying it to their face. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week.